Yo, what's up Giants fans, hub watchers, YouTube subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers. It's your boy No Name back at it with a quick free agency update vid. Today we're going to talk about Darius Slay and the supposed link, supposed link to the Giants and you know with the uh, Lions putting him on the trading block uh, officially today and all that and there's been Really, the only link to the Giants was him and Darius Slayton, the rookie wide receiver going into his second year, breakout wide receiver out of Auburn for the Giants. They've exchanged a couple of tweets uh, about a couple weeks back, at least in January, whether that's over a month ago or a couple weeks back, I can't say. But it was in the manner of, you know, like usually when football players exchange tweets and one of their contracts is up, everybody thinks it's recruiting or everybody thinks that, um, the one whose contract is being up, you know, he's trying to get on the team of the other player, whatever the case is. There has been links to the Giants, and I'm basically kind of here to give my opinion on it. Now, right now, the word out is that he wants a big contract, and Slay has made this known via multiple sources that he wants a big contract. And kind of like um, when I spoke about Yannick Ngakwe, Slay is a good player, and I, and I know comparing them isn't exactly... An easy thing to do because they play two different positions and while well, they're two different players but I'm what I'm trying to say is just like Yannick he doesn't deserve the money that he's uh, demanding to be honest with you Slay is a good cornerback and the Giants are certainly in need of cornerback help because our secondary is probably the weakest part of our team right now but he's not a cornerback that you would pay like 15 million dollars or more to like if I'm be honest with you Slay is he's kind of like He's good, but not great. You know what I mean? Like, how much better is Darius Slay than Janoris Jenkins, who we uh, cut this season? Slay is really not that much better. I mean, um, and I, they're also two different cornerbacks. And Slay's age, 29, isn't Jenkins also, you know, around the 30-ish age right there, maybe 29 also. Darius Slay is not that much better than Janoris Jenkins. So why would I sign him to a contract that would be more than Jenkins? So let me get that out, you know, let me just get that out the way real quick. If, if the Giants are looking to get Darius Slay through free agency, through actually signing him, I'm not for it because of the money he's demanding. And even then, I'm not sure if I really want to, you know, take some of this cap that we have, the $60 million cap, and put it towards a cornerback if it's not going to be, um, you know, somebody on the level of Stephon Gilmore. And um, I'm not even sure if there's somebody out there in free agency that's like that. Like, in general, I'm not really going for any cornerbacks this offseason because I really want to see how the young core that we have in the secondary performs under the the new coaching staff and the new system. I mean like our entire secondary or at least our entire cornerback core is essentially like brand new all dudes under rookie contracts. We got we got Sam Buell, we got DeAndre Baker, Julian Love, we got uh, Corey Ballantyne, Grant Haley, all those dudes in the secondary in the cornerback position were all you know they all came on the team within the past two two years at most to be honest with you maybe three for grant haley i'm not sure but two years at most i think and you want to see how they develop especially a guy like deandre baker and julian love you want to see how they perform in the second year especially with the new coaching staff that came on and the, uh, the general idea we got last off season and of course things change from off season to off season if you're stagnant in your approach you know, as a front office and uh, as a coach, if you try to do the same thing two off seasons in a row, nothing's gonna work out well for you. But um, the the feeling last off season and even now a little bit this off season was that the cornerback group that we established then is gonna be one for the future. They're all young. They're all gonna develop together, progress together, and grow together so that they become good together. And we have, you know, they're all relatively the same age. It's the timeline where you're looking at the timeline of the team. And they all, you know, they all get to their, you know, primes that are at around the same time. Like, I think that's the general idea. That being said, I I can see why somebody would want to have um, a player like Darius Slay on the Giants, uh, you know, because he's a veteran. Because, like I said, he's a good cornerback. He's not a great cornerback, but he's a good cornerback. He's been the number one corner for the Detroit Lions for about, like, I want to say five, six years now. He's been in the league since 2013. And his stats are not exactly the best. I think he has like 19 picks since 2013, which isn't exactly a great amount of picks for a cornerback to have. But once again, you know, kind of like how with, uh, I guess, a 
offensive skill player touchdowns aren't everything picks aren't everything with the cornerback position Darius Lee is known as a good cornerback for a reason his picks doesn't necessarily have to show it although I will say you know it's kind of like um kind of like an oxymoron that in that sense you want somebody at his age and at his experience being the number one corner for a team for that many years to have you know a good amount of picks and at the same time it's like he doesn't necessarily need it to be a good corner he just needs to be good in coverage, be uh, good in pass protection, um, or you know, pass defense. Be good at breaking up passes. You know, be good at making it hard for the receiver that you're guarding. Right. So in that sense, I can see why somebody would want Slay on the team as a veteran presence in the locker room because everybody there is young. Maybe we do need a veteran presence there to help you know lead these guys to help to help them develop. You know, whether it's on the field or off the field. But it comes back to me saying I would not. You know, I don't necessarily want. Uh, Slay, even if we're gonna trade for him, you know, right now I think his value is around like a second or third round pick. I would only trade for him if it's a third or fourth round pick, because he's he's just not worth it. He's not worth the money if you were to sign him in free agency. He's not worth the picks you would give up if you were to get him in a trade. Now, if the Giants do want to address the cornerback position and bring in somebody good, um, bring in a veteran, somebody a bit more proven, you know, somebody a bit more safe than Slay why not you know there's there are a good amount of free agents out there you could tackle why not tackle somebody like chris harris who is up there in age definitely but like i said for the veteran presence i think would be great for the locker room in terms of leading them not necessarily being you know a quiet player and whatnot uh you could target somebody like logan ryan who once again has ties with the patriots and joe judge plays on the uh titans uh is a good cornerback not great but i think on that level of slaying he wouldn't demand as much money somebody like bradley roby who you could argue is better than Darius Slay, and he is one year younger, so that's something for you. You could sign him to like a three-year, maybe even a four-year deal, and I think he would demand less money than Slay. And if even if he de does demand around the same amount of money, I'd be more inclined to give it to Roby than to somebody like a like Slay. You know, there's there's a good cornerback class out there right now. Just listen off a couple names. Um, keep to leave. Not sure if we would necessarily want to sign him. Ronald Darby, uh, Brandon Carr, uh, Roby Coleman from the Rams, like. There's a good amount of uh, guys out there in the cornerback free agent class this year. So if the Giants want to tackle it that way, I wouldn't necessarily want to go to Slay. But that's just my opinion. You guys let me know what you think down below. Uh, do you guys think that there's even really a link to the Giants? Or are we just talking about this because him and Slayton have had some, you know, exchanges on Twitter? And even if there is a link to the Giants, do you think we should go for him? Or do you think we should tackle one of these other free agents? Put your comments down below. That's it for now. I'm out. You're. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. Put your comments down below. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Until next time, I'm out. You're.